Hi, this is Bridget, and today we're going to um, demonstrate the grain mill and discuss if it's actually something you need on your KitchenAid appliance. The first thing we're going to do is remove our bowl. Um, with all the attachments, it's rarely necessary that the bowl be there. Most of the time, it's not in the way, but it's really of no use. So I'm going to get it out of the way. After removing the bowl, the first thing we're going to do is unscrew the front um, cover on our attachment holder. Then we're going to take the grain mill and we're going to push it in until it seats and you might have to rock it around. We want to make sure that the little tab is pushed into the indent on the machine and we're going to tighten the screw. Alright, now we have the grain mill in. We're going to turn the knob up here um, adjusts how coarse or small. To the, if you turn it to the left, uh, counterclockwise, it's coarser. If you turn it toward uh, clockwise, toward the right, it's finer. They recommend you start out with the finest, um, the finest grind and that you turn the gr grinder on to 10. They do recommend that you not use oily grains like uh, nuts, um, that you do dry grains like corn, rice, wheat, rye. So we're going to do this. We're going to turn the machine onto the pan and add a little oil to the And we're going to throw it on. Now they say if it's too coarse for you, this is the time that you turn it one plate over and try a little more. And it's too hard. And so it's the fineness that you like. Now we have um, a very nice, this is on the third click over, so it's got a grain about like fine sugar. It's not as fine as when I first was grinding it and it was like a powder that you could have used as a flour. So this is um, going to go into into something that you need just a little uh, little, little thicker grind. Um, I think for my purposes for making maybe um, rice noodles I would want this on the one. I would want it all the way to the finest grind. So I think I would go back to the fine grind for future use. When you're all done, and they recommend you not do more than 10 cups of anything in the grinder at a time because that will um, overheat your engine. So it says to, if you, if you want to do more than 10 cups, it recommends that you do 10 cups, then let your um, KitchenAid mixer rest for 45 minutes to an hour, then you can make another 10 cups. But give it a break, don't let it overheat. For cleaning, you want to unscrew the screw, rock the unit out, uh, dump any excess grain that you have out and then if it's not particularly dirty um, they recommend you just unscrew these top two thumb nuts and brush it out with a brush. They really recommend you not wash it if you don't have to. If you haven't used an oily grain it's highly unlikely you're going to need to do much more than just knock out the um, grains out of it and get it ready for the next use. If you've used something that's a little bit stickier or oilier, which you're not recommending doing, you might need to wash it. Wash it in the sink by hand. Let all the parts thoroughly dry before you put them back together. Do not put it in the dishwasher. Do I recommend this uh, unit? If you're a person that um, likes to have lots of unusual flours in your cooking and you want to make sure that they're not processed flours, that they're flat, that you know where the grain came from and there's lots of sources on the internet for whole grains that you can purchase. This is an excellent item to um, buy. It's, it's, heavily, it's heavy duty, it's like I said, you have a wide variety of coarse to fine um, grains that you can grind from and I really like it. So I would recommend, especially gluten free people who are trying out all these new flowers, Give it, um, it's a good item to own. 